you see this name, Jabari Hall, see it highlighted there as my kind of handle. Um, after this, if, it's someone in, if there's someone in here that has a question that's like, I got to ask this guy a question. I got to find out more about him or me. You can find me at that handle. I like to share with you the title for today, a term called SEL, Empowerment and a Dream Big Day. Raise your hand if you're in here if you have a dream. Oh, one or two of you know I had a dream? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ask you that question in a little bit. Flow with me for a second. There's a meaning behind all of this. What was he saying in that song? Huh? Yeah. And was his, did he, did he reach his dream? Did it become a reality? People said what? Yeah, he wasn't going to go anywhere. Then he got that call at the end, right? That song is so like powerful to me. It ain't just tough tunes. It ain't just like, I rate him like, I don't just rate him, like, like the mute, the, the, for him to drop that, it's a song that each one of us, when we go back and listen to, we see that this young man had a dream. He put the work in and he reached success. And now, worldwide, I mean, PopCon is worldwide. Like, not even, you can't even question his popularity. So I play that song, and I play those songs to show you, to see if you just vibe with me for a second, but also show you that these words, these songs have meanings. More so than you think, it's just a vibe. So whatever artists you listen to right now, hopefully they own some positive stuff. Really listen to them and find out their story. Because we'll talk about a few people's story here. It's a dream big day, and I asked about dreams. Let's continue on. That picture again, it's me. My name is Jabari Hall. And you may not know kind of who I am, what I do, because I got a t-shirt on, I'm a regular dude chilling. But I speak around this world to young people like you. I speak to white, black, Portuguese, and Chinese, and all kind of people. But this year, you're my people. Caribbean, black people. When I speak around the world, I speak to people about what's inside of you. There's something inside of you that God has placed there. And you have the ability to find out that something. Somebody in here knows how to do beats like nobody else. Somebody in here is an engineering major that's unlike anybody else. And, they and everybody come to you for that. Somebody in here has some level of skill in your college that people know. Ah, go to him. He's a guy. Oh, go to him. He's, he's, go to her. He's, she's, a, she's a person, right? There's something inside of you. And I talk to the people of all different races. But there's nothing like coming and speaking to my people. Somebody in here says, ah, I'm just a regular person. I got nothing inside of me. But I'm here to tell you that each and every one of you has something inside of you that can change Antigua that can change Parham and St. John's or somewhere, whatever place you live in, that can impact the world. I'm here to unleash that. So I'm gonna build up on some intensity, but good intensity to help bring that out, unearth that. That's what I do around this world. Spoke in Hong Kong, I know a few little Cantonese. Um, went back to Trinidad, I had a dream big day there. Um, I went to, to Accra, Ghana, in Africa, in December. Spoke to young people there. Uh, I'm here in Antigua. All right, I speak all over the U.S. I'm really good at this. I'm spending a little bit of time here to encourage you a bit. So I challenge you. Open yourselves up just a little bit and receive it. Cool? That's me. I just want to go over this term, what is SEL for a second? What is SEL? Everybody heard of that term, SEL? Yeah, I'm introducing it. I'm kind of like the, the uh, ambassador of it at the moment. SEL is this term, stands for social and emotional learning. One of the best ways to study 
is repetitiveness. Repeat. Take some index cards, repeat, repeat. Go, um, put your term in the front, put the definition on the back, right? You see the term, you're going to know the definition. Anybody studies like that? Great. You study like that? Anybody? One, two, three. For the rest of you. Eh, studying, I know, studying. It's going to help you. You put the term in the front, you put the definition on the back, you keep studying that way. It's like muscle memory, nonetheless. I say that because I, will, I would want you to recite those three words. Can you just say social and emotional learning for me? Yeah, what that teaches you, it teaches you how to think positive. Who in here is a positive thinking person? Show of hands. One, two, three, four. What, what does that mean? Go for it. What's your name, sir? Peters. Mr. Peters. What does it mean to think positive? All right, sure. Mr. Peter said that. Anybody else? Being optimistic. Uh, uh, what's your name? Kiziel. Kiziel? Go for it. Being optimistic. Being optimistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Looking at things in a positive way. Being optimistic. Human nature tells us, that ain't going to work out. Oh, that outfit don't look good. Oh, I'm not pretty enough. Human nature tells you that. Society tells you that. Positive thinking says, in spite of what I see, I'm going to look at the positive. If I have some water and it's only half full, a lot of us say, I want a full glass of water, it's half full. A lot of, a lot of others might say, at least I have half a glass of water. What I teach you is, how do I look at something and see positivity? How do I look at the wall and do, if I don't see paint on it, yet still recognize it's a wall that protects me? House. How do I look at a situation that happens in my life where I didn't get the grade that I want, the girl that I want, the dude that I want, and say to myself, there's better coming after. Thinking positive. So that's what SCL and I teach you. The second thing, I like participation. Just rock with me, flow with me. Anybody else can tell me what the second thing says? Scream it out. Respect. Respect. And a bird man? And a bird man? Um, uh, um, Lil Wayne brought him in, Young Money Entertainment, Birdman, put, put some respect on my name, you hear that? All right. Yeah, 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 respect. Everybody wants that. Do you respect yourself? How do you respect yourself? Why should you respect yourself? I ask you these questions so you can think about it. Because when you do that, you tend to operate differently. When somebody approaches you and they say, or, uh, in New York, what happens in, like, when I was growing up there at the time, 90s, we would say, you it was good, ma. It was good, shorty. Talk like that. For her walking down the street and hears me calling her that way. What are you doing, Antigua? You, you, it's called like cat calling. Do you, what do you say? Psst, psst. Who gonna respond to pss? Like, what do you think? I should respond to pss. You pss. I should, I should respond to that, right? So, for a young lady, it's like, I don't even wanna speak to somebody that would approach me that way. If you approach me that way, it's like, I'm, I'm gonna lower myself to talk to you. You get it? I have more self respect for myself. You should also have more respect for me. Just come, hello, how you doing? My name is, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing with you, somebody wanna approach you. Ain't no just calling you out, out the blue. It's, it's, it's approaching you in a particular way. Respect. I want each and every one of you to recognize this power in respect. I can go in with that for days. The third one is making a good decision. What does that mean? Can somebody give me an example of a good decision? Can somebody give me... Oh, go, go, go. I like hands raised because I don't know who's talking, right? So just raise your hand for a second. Let's, I don't know if you raise your hand in school now, you're in college, big people thing, you know, you don't raise your hand, whatever. Let's take it back to grade school for a second. Raise your hand. What's your name? Kajani. Kajani. Going to college. That's a good decision. Somebody else. Kajani, Mr. Peters. Say your name again. Kizia. Kizia, 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 Kizia. Okay. Somebody else? What's your name? Yeah. Come on, Joel. My bad. I'm in my element for a second. Drinking water daily, yeah. How much water? 
A liter? More than a liter. All right, half a gallon at least. Khadija, study. Khadija, study? Study what? What about your craft? Anybody has a craft, something they like to do? Anybody produces music? Anybody does draw, drawing? Like, what do you do? Uh, a lot of engineering. You're in engineering here? No. What, are you, what are you in? I'm in science and math. Okay, science still. Okay, math still. That's good, that's good. Yeah, decision, good. Yeah, we know good decisions. What's a bad decision? Huh? I didn't hear you say again. <laughs> there are bad decisions, young man. <laughs> if you ain't make it yet, <laughs> give me a, give me an example of a bad decision. Let's be real for a second. Only not ten years old. What are you doing? Drugs. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. Um. 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 Y'all are old enough, and y'all y'all recognize things. I can say this in this kind of forum. They're, they're, I'm gonna leave that alone. Go ahead. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Anyway, go ahead. Ah, unprotected sex. Right, right, right. We won't go into all of that. I don't want to embarrass people. Go ahead. Now, right, right. Look at these. Whenever I say, I ask the question, "What is a good decision?" You gave me something as easy as studying. Whenever I ask, what is the example of a bad decision? Look at these big ones. Drugs and unprotected sex and not paying attention on the road to cause an accident. Do you know a bad decision could be sitting in front of a presenter and wearing headphones? Do you know a bad decision can be the posture that you have? A bad decision can be wearing a hoodie when you don't need to wear one? A bad decision could be not taking a shower when you're going on a date. Man, she'd be all right. It would be right. And then when she might lean in like, oh, he didn't shower. That's not going to work out. I need a fresh man. <laughs> anyway, um, bad decisions could be very simple, could be very easy. Bad decisions have five, mm, as small as a bad decision is, has five times the consequence. Case in point. You could be going with somebody in a car. You don't know where they're going, but you just trust your friend, you're going. And then after a while, you're like, where are we going? We just, don't worry about it, man, we're going somewhere. And he has something in his pocket, he comes to you, exchange, and you're standing right there like, damn, I didn't even know he's coming to do that. Right? My small decision of walking with my friend who's doing something that he should not be doing, <laughs> you start to scatter. That one decision could lead to what? Jail. You didn't, you don't know him, you don't know me, but you was with us, so to speak, in the transaction. One small decision, thanks, one small decision can have five times the consequences. I want you to recognize that because it is in those small decisions that the regrets come from. So there are bad decisions. It's in those small decisions. So I teach young people how I am, how I present myself in every single situation matters. It matters how I sit in class. It matters how I have a conversation with our leaders. It matters how I converse with the opposite sex. It matters how I treat my parents. Huh? Let me get into that. Don't let me get into that. It matters how, it matters. It, all these things matter. My decisions matter. Because that one decision that I make, I can lose a best friend forever. That one decision that I make, I can be kicked out of the house. That one decision that I make, I can lose the person that I love the most. There's power in social and emotional learning. That's just a snippet of it. I wanna go through and cover three things today. Why dream big? The second thing is what does your best look like? And the third thing is the power in faith. Which one would you start with? Which one here, which one of you here was like, you know what? Out of those three things, I would love to hear 
and learn and discuss one of those three? What's your top one? Number two, number two, number two, two, three. Cool, number two? Cool, let's, let's jump to number two. I'm gonna go past all of this, boom, 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 boom. Answer this question, what does your best look like? Say, say it louder for me. Not procrastinating. That's your best, not procrastinating. Next. Do me a favor. What's our time check? 135, right? Whatever you have to do, I know it's important. I don't have the authority to kind of make this happen, but if it is you have a problem with your teachers, your professors, et cetera, et cetera, bring me to your teacher and I will apologize to them. Okay, great. I didn't want to put that on you, but I appreciate you. Thank you. Not procrastinating. Thank you. What else does your best look like? Discipline. One of the most, if not the strongest, but like just a strong word. Consistency, these things that you really need in life. When you talk about not procrastinating, that's regular. You could not procrastinate and do your work and turn in and get a 70 or 60. And you turned it in, you didn't procrastinate, you kind of did the work, right? That's doing all right, right? You could do something that makes you happy Right? This is what makes you happy in life. And then at the end of the day, don't do the things that you need to do and it messes up everything. Well, I love to listen to music. I don't need to do any work. I have to sit at work. Right? You could just make it through the day. Dogs make it through the day. <laughs> they living their best life? <laughs> they may, huh? I need to point outside because I saw a dog on the campus the other day. I was like, oh man. They living their best life? They doing their best? They trying, they living, they doing their best? Yeah, but that's not your best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push my be my best. There's this guy there, his coach talking to him, saying, give me your best. And he's saying, I need to rest. Or well, how far am I? Or how much do I need to go? How much further? And the coach is saying, don't worry about any of that. Give me your best. When I wake up every single morning, I think about that movie. It's called Facing the Giants. And somehow, some way, there's somebody in me, somebody that says, give me your best. So when I wake up, I repeat these words. I like to be happy. So I said, I am happy looking in this mirror. I like to be positive. I don't have my bands there in my bag right there. On it, on it says, think positive, dream big. I say, I am positive. I like to grow. So I say, I am growing. I am powerful. Therefore, I say, I am powerful. And I will not stop. Therefore, I say, I am relentless. I am happy with my wife and my life. I am positive filled, positive spirited. I don't look at the glass half, half empty. I look at the glass half full. I am growing spiritually and mentally and physically. I am powerful. The blood of Jesus Christ runs through my veins and I am relentless. I will never stop. I will never quit. Failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. I will persist. I will persist. I will persist. I will win. I will win. I will win. Every single day when I walk out my bathroom, my wife is like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. I'm ready for the day because I'm not trying to make it through the day. I'm trying to dominate today. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it through like some limp dog outside or some person that just says, I just want to be here. No, 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 no. I'm here 
Oh, that means the Lord is here. Oh, that means inspiration is here. Oh, that means that person that's inside of me is ticking, 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 say, give me your best. So when you're in class and you're taking something apart, don't just put it back together and say, I'm going to put it back the way it was. Create something new. When you're in class and you're studying, or if you're studying at home, don't just study and say, I'm going to get through this exam. Say, I'm going to get the score that the teacher's going to be like, damn, girl, how you get the score? Because I gave it my best. When you're working out, when you're doing something, do it at your best. A lot of people, when my, my, my nephew came up to, to live with me for a little while in the States from Trinidad. Yo, do some donuts. Do this now, do this now, do this now. Because he wanted to race and all this other stuff. I said, okay, what's your best look like? Doing a little bit of tricks? What's your best driving look like? Huh? A lot of you might want to drive and think, what does your best practice look like? It looks like you continually saying, I got to get better and better and better and better. What does the best Antigua look like? Does it look like us just sitting here and, 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 and just being here? Or does it look like when we get out of here, I'm going to create something in Antigua that it needs, that it changes the entire world? Things that you complain about. You might complain about the roads. I know I did when I was here. Like, man, fix the road, man. None of you complain about that? <laughs> complain about, you complain about something, fix it. There's a, there's, a, there's a saying, don't be the problem, be the solution. Your best looks like you changing your mindset to say, I'm going to be the solution. A lot of times, Caribbeans, what we do, this ain't doing right, this ain't working, da 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 you want to complain, I'm not for that. What are we going to do about it? You're part of the generation right now where you can do so much. You can scale walls like neither one of us can. Our knees are different. My knee hurts. That alone. You can do things, you can think faster than we can. You can do so much if you give it your best. But if you're sitting here saying, I'm just here today at school. I'm just here because this guy is here. I'm just here because my leader asked me to be here then you will be like everyone else that you might see that's an adult that ain't doing nothing with their life. But if you want to give it your best, then you're sitting in one of those offices leading the entire student population. If you give it your best, then you're sitting in some of the office being a chancellor, being the next president, being somebody who invented the new iPod, I, whatever you have in your, on your hip there, being somebody who created something. That's your best. That's when you see those people on, on TV and you're just like, wow, on YouTube or wherever you're looking at, and somebody you look up to. Name one person you look up to. Name one person you look up to. Just scream it out. One person that you admire, one person that you like, one person that you say they're doing it. What's one person? Who? Right. Huh? Ryan Reynolds, right? You said? That's his name, right? Cool. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about nobody else. When you go home, they put on your shoes. When you go home, they put on your clothes. When you go home, they come out of the bed with you. When you go home, they walk in with you. You are by yourself. And that's what a lot of people forget. You worry about what everybody else thinks. Who are you when you look in the mirror? Who do you look up to? Who do you, who inspires you? Who gets this to beat? Because it didn't get nobody else's heart to beat. Because if you wasn't here, they would still be sitting here. Right? So don't worry about nobody else. Ryan Reynolds. When you look at him, what, what did he do that inspires you? Huh? Okay, favorite movie. But that person, do you think that he got there by saying, I'm going to walk on this movie set and I'm going to be the star? Did he do that? No, he took acting classes, right? He probably cried tears because he got denied a few times and people say, you're not good enough to be acting, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but after a while, after putting in the hard work, after saying I'm going to be my best, he got it. There are people that you look up to. There are people that you see that's doing wonderful things. Don't just think they woke up and just became it. They work every single day hard. So who in here is going to be that person? I don't go places to get everybody. I go for one. The work that I do is called kingdom work. I'm a firm believer that every single day I wake up, God has placed in me the ability to walk somewhere and to touch someone's spirit and to say that you can be somebody that you never imagined you can be. That's what I firmly believe. 
So I may not be here for all of you, but I'm here for one person, one person to believe that they can make a difference on this campus, that they can make a difference in Antigua, that they can make a difference around the world. And if it ain't you, it's okay. But that one person, you're gonna remember sitting here and saying to yourself, yo, I remember that person sitting there, I didn't even really know him. He was talking about unprotected stuff. I didn't really know him. He was talking about stuff. She was just trying to make it through her day and now she is owning the day. Get that difference? So when I ask you what does your best look like, I'm spending so much time, because I want you, when you walk outside, you look at the sun and you say, what does my best look like, son? Am I, am I walking the right way? Am I feeling the right thing? Am I in class doing the right thing? Am I doing what I love while taking care of my responsibilities? That's what you got to ask yourself walking out of here. It ain't just like, hey, all right, man, I was just in a session. It's all good. I'm done. No. It's what does my best look like every single day? Yeah? I, I want to share one, one thing and then I'm done. Two things and then I'm done. Um, there's a challenge that goes on right now that you, that you are uniquely, oh, um, uh, you have been uniquely experienced post-COVID, after COVID. And I was your age. I was in college and we was chilling. We ain't had to go on online school. You know, it's no, no online school. We always were in front of each other, talking, dapping each other up, going to parties, hanging out. But you experienced something that no one else experienced. You had to be away from each other. And the only connection you had was being online. So I saw you with whatever you put out. So if you put out your best picture, that's what I saw. If you put out hate on someone, like, oh, that's trash, or get out of here, like some kind of hate, that's what I saw. I didn't see you. So now when we come back together, it's hard for us to really interact. It's hard for us. I remember wearing a mask and it was like, I got to take this mask off. I kind of like this mask. Anybody really like that mask after a while? Can you feel like you were hiding yourself? But now you have to be with people. You're facing a unique challenge that I am not aware of because I haven't experienced it like that. But I could offer advice. And the advice I have is to push past what COVID caused you to become. COVID caused us to become more like to ourselves. Like, I don't need to talk to you. I'm be on my phone. And everybody's on their phone. Push past that and go to somebody and say, what's up, man? You all right? Cool. Have a nice day. Did we do anything that's a lot that was too much? No, we just said, what's up, right? Start there. Just interact with each other. But in a way where you're just bringing positivity because you know you're going through problems, I'm going through problems. You're going through... Ish, I'm going through ish. Like we're going through stuff, but that don't mean that we have to judge each other, that we have to complain to each other not, or about each other. We can actually just say, I'm going to just be my best. I'm going to help this person out. I'm going to do good. And this is how we come back to a society or create a new society where we are better than before. And you are the generation to do it. You have a lot of responsibility on you, and that's one of the responsibilities. Post COVID, change it. Last thing I'll say, then I'm done. And I appreciate your time. Um, I live in New York. My name is Jabari. Today isn't a day that I saw when I was younger. The life that I live wasn't the life that I saw when I was younger. But what happened to me was that I always was like, I'm not gonna take what life gives me. I just wanna find out what we thought of today begin to share your honest assessment of things. Well, the students coming in, having known a lot about you before, um, I think a lot of them came in a bit skeptical. I could see it in their faces. And as they started hearing what you were about, what you do, I, you know, I kind of felt some of the ways we you know, feel back. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, as I was saying before, I don't, we don't usually mandate that students come. 
systems, the ones who come, become a bit more And so you tend to have people who will be more receptive to the messaging. Um, I felt that the, you know, those who came today, they, uh, I'm looking at them and they seemed engaged. Yeah, yeah. Um, a couple of them, there was a point where they sat down there and they went, Especially when you made the point about the, um, you know, trying to get through the day. Right. You know, uh, when you compare that, yeah, that's what the dog on the street's trying to do. It's something that resonates. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think even if you don't get to everybody, I think that it resonates with some of the students. And, and, and that's what you want because those students now can go back to their peers and influence them and then influence somebody else. Oh, I'm Makes sense. It's not about the world. It's not about, you know, the whole group. It's just about the food that you can get here to and then turn around and make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so thanks for that. I appreciate that. I, um, my goal here is to add these sparks in little ponds all over the place. And that's how uh, and those ponds, those, 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 those um, sparks end up creating more of a bigger pond into a lake, into an ocean, and really spreading the consciousness of feeling self-empowered. That's what I want to thank you. I wanted to uh, uh, also just thank you and the principal for allowing me to be here um, at Antigua State College. Uh, I brought like uh, uh, a, a gesture, a thank you gesture uh, for you. I can just uh, get it for you and give it to you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Something you can add to your office Oh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. It's really appreciated. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you so much for listening, for watching. Did you enjoy the content? Then click like, click subscribe. And remember, like a tree that grows from a seed, everything that you will be is already inside of you.